All right, how's it going, you guys? Hopefully this will... I just recorded this, and I was filming it upside down. Because there's a little option on the GoPro for you to... You know, if your camera's upside down, you can flip the video right side up. So when I mount it into the car, the mount has it... It's mounted upside down. So that it gets... You know, I tried doing uh, videos in the car, but it's, it's like... It's not my thing, so... Here's uh, the head mount for the GoPro that I got. I think it was like, well, I don't remember. I, I don't know if I mentioned it in a previous video, but I got it with a suction cup, tripod mount, and a little bag for, I think it was 15 bucks at Best Buy. So it was a, like a really good deal compared to buying the actual GoPro suction cup for, I think it was selling for like 50 bucks. So hopefully these uh, head mounted videos will be very helpful to you guys. So, I see a lot of people asking, you know, when they're trying to, when they're buying new uh, spider taillights, how to remove your taillights. Is it hard? Do you have to splice anything? Do you have to cut anything? As far as I know, I think the spider lights are just uh, plug and play. I don't have a set, so I can't, I can't be for sure. So, I don't plan on getting a set either, just because I really like my single bulb here that is uh i think it's 50 or 60 watts that i have in here and those spider lights are just nowhere near as bright as that so so let's get to it so your car will probably have this thing here unless so, unless you don't have it and you broke it off or something but it's a plastic little trim piece and it'll have four of these that hold your net i don't know if this came in every model but you should have these and you know, these just go in there, and they latch this net on that'll go all the way across. So, once you get that, get those taken off in the net, there's two holes in here that you stick your fingers in, and you just pull up on it. And that's it. And there's only four clips on this. One, two, three, four. And that is it. Mine is broken. It's been broken since the very first day that I got this car in the center, but that's fine. Next thing you know, or, ugh, I just woke up and it's very cold. Remove the flimsy battery cover if you have it. If not, I guess that doesn't matter. But then right up in here, in, in, like here and right up in here, you'll have two of these little plastic clips which are a pain to remove so if you have one of those little trim remover things that would probably help out a lot but i don't have one of those so i have to do it with my bare hands and they're pretty sharp all right and then just pull back the carpet and you should see one two three little uh, bolts back there the same thing can be said for this side. I don't think I've pulled the uh, little retaining thing. Well, never mind. It just came out when I did that. But it's the same thing for this other side. I may have removed a couple more on here. Like right up here, you can see there's. I removed one, but can't find it. But there are one. Let's see if this one, you can see it. One, two, and three. And then don't forget to put it back underneath the uh, the weather stripping. And also the weather stripping holds it in place here. And where'd that little thing go? And for this, you will need, I believe it was a 10 millimeter socket. I bought this tool kit at, I think it was O'Radley's for like four bucks. And I've had it for about, oh, maybe a year. And it's been, it's been a pretty good little kit. Hey, let me see here, yeah. 10 millimeter. And then, let's 
see if, you, see if this will even pick up. It's kind of hard trying to use the viewfinder in at the same time. Because there's a slight delay, but there's one here, there's one here, and another one here. Once you get this pulled off, you'll see these three little silver nuts. Ugh, it's not even bright enough. But they're right there. And then all you do is just get your wrench. Can't even feel my fingers. And you don't have to use your wrench to get them all off. You can just use it to loosen them up. And also there is a fuse box right here. This black piece thing, if you didn't know. And then here is the little nut thing that you take off. And there's three of these, don't lose these. Do your very best not to drop them. I would do this outside, but it snowed, or it snowed a little bit, and then it melted, and it's like 30 degrees outside, so I'm in big shorts and a t-shirt and just woke up. So then once you get those off, then there is the harness connector. There's a little tab on it that you just squeeze. If you can see it right there. Just squeeze that little tab. And then just push the light out gently, make sure you have a hold of it. Might take a little, might take a few tries, but you can give it a little nudge back there and that's it. And these are the three little, three little things that you're looking for in the back that your little nuts screw on that you have to use the wrench or socket, whatever, to get loose. This one here is your uh, tail light. This one here is your reverse light. This weird looking round one is your turn signal. So if you replace these with LEDs, you'll need to like attach resistors to it so that it doesn't hyper flash. And that is it. Do the same thing to the other side. Then to put it back in, just line up those three little pegs along with these plastic ones here too couple of them one two and they fit right in here one two and then here are your three here's the little wire harness and then there's also this little track down here and here <clears throat> that slide into this right here and this one right here this big one and there you go once you get that in, don't forget to plug it in. And then don't forget to install your three little, whatever those are, little nuts or something. Screw tops, I don't know what the technical term is for them. And I only recommend that you do this if you're replacing your tail lights, just because you don't want to drop it and break it. And then just tighten it back up, and that is it. I might redo this video later on once it's a little bit warmer and outside so that you can, you know, see better, but 
If you have any questions or any concerns or anything, just let me know. I can always try to reshoot these videos, so it's, you know, it's not like it's a big deal. I just don't exactly have a lot of time to put out a bunch of, like, content and work, like, takes up a lot of my time. Because I have my own business, so I don't don't really get any free time except for Sundays or unless like today if I wake up early like what time is it it's like 4 44 yeah in like two hours I had to be had to go start working and it's usually like that and up until up to Saturdays so Sundays are my only time off for unless I wake up early so sorry if you know, there's like long spaces of, uh, you know, times wherever I don't up upload a video. But I didn't make my YouTube to like, you know, get a bunch of subscriptions and views. It's just for, if you have questions or you're just getting into one of these cars and you want to know just how to do stuff on it, I'm learning. I'm nowhere I, I wouldn't consider myself a car enthusiast because a car enthusiast would like, you know, several models of cars and I, I kind of really don't care. I, I like this one and if as long as it looks pretty and looks nice, then, you know, I like it. If not, then I mostly just play video games. Don't forget to reattach this thing. And don't forget to make sure that your flimsy battery cover is in there well. I don't really know which way this goes, but I think it covers up more that way. You may or may not have it, I don't I don't know. And then to install this back, there is a little lip on here. You can see it. Then you can see where my hand's at, there isn't a lip. So then you just you have to lift up your trunk liner here. It covers your spare tire if you Got that package or you know your air pump I well i don't know where your air pump would be but my spare donut is under here along with the jack sand and all the other tools needed to change out your tire and i don't think some of the gt models or something got uh got a what do you call it uh an air pump <clears throat> Make sure it's in there nice and then reattach your little net holders if you if you have them. I think my plastic here may has has warped because it's there's like a huge huge gap. But I may just install two just to put it back in. It's been off for nearly for almost a year just because uh you know me getting to the back of the tail lights and if you follow me on a, like Instagram or on the G8 page then I usually post you know pictures of my lights and I think I've posted a ton of like what my brake lights are with these bulbs and it makes your car look like it's got afterburners I'm pretty sure there's a meme going on around that about that too or me whichever one Forget it, this is exactly why I didn't bother putting the net back on. It's like, ugh. It's like those things are a pain in the ass to get lined up. I don't want to strip it either. So it's like, screw it, you know, I hardly ever use this net. All I've got stuff here from when I moved and some brake pads, knee pads, because I am extremely clumsy and, and like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this will pick up in the, my hairy ass legs, but this was like the size of an orange. It was like right up to here the other day, or two days ago when I tripped and fell. And the one day that I'm like, you know what? I don't need to wear knee pads. Wrong. All right. So I hope that was uh, helpful with this uh, head mount. I'll have better videos and more upcoming stuff. Stuff that I have coming up are, well, I won't say, but. I'll just have those, uh, I'll just post them as I go along. Um, I guess that's it. Uh, 
you want to see cool pictures that I take or whatnot, you can follow me on Instagram. It's at a heavy abacus, and it's all just one word. I usually just put it in the description. It's usually just random, random junk, photos of my car, food, cats, video game stuff. That's about it. And I think that's where I post that I put a new video up to. So, hope you all are having a good day. Drive safe, and always wear your seatbelt.